having problems with my cooling system. The reservoir is getting filled up in the highway. City drive in, it goes back down. When I shut it off, it goes back even lower. And then when I want to restart it, it's below the sensor level. And then it doesn't want to uh, restart um, because it senses that the coolant is low. The first thing I want to check is uh, what's called the uh, EGR cooler. This thing right here, the EGR stands for exhaust gas recirculation. And uh, what this does is uh, it brings in coolant. I believe that's where it comes in. That's where it comes out. And it cools the uh, recirculated gases. So it, in essence, what it does is it grabs a little bit of exhaust gases from the exhaust, uh, brings it in here, it cools off, and then it goes back into the engine. And that is to minimize, um, I guess, uh, exhaust gases going out into the atmosphere. So that's what I have to check right now. Right now I want to take this off, this tube. I want to see if, uh, if it's moist inside. If it's moist inside, you know it's definitely leaking. And that's not a good sign. So look at that. Inside the EGR cooler, uh, I found this. It feels like it's like tar. It's supposed to be dry. I'm pretty sure that, that that's what mechanic. That's what the mechanic said. If it feels like tar, it's because it's mixing with moisture. And I think. Uh, probably the EGR cooler is now leaking I'm gonna have to call my mechanic and make sure that this is not supposed to be there I think this is supposed to be like a powdery soot it's supposed to be um, dry so I think we have maybe the solution to this problem what's happening is that exhaust gases is coming into the uh, cooling system and it's pressurizing the cooling system and that's um, and that's not good you need to remove some bolts there's one two three four five six seven bolts I thought there was one up here uh, but there aren't any to my luck and that was um, just enough to get this cover to the side and reveal uh, the cooler look at that it's right here so this was obviously seized up this cover you can you can remove this cover to reveal uh, the bolt over here so I loosened them up already I had to tap away at the bolts a lot to get it uh, loosened up uh, obviously if you have an an impact gun it's even better or those air wrenches that's even easier but I don't have any air wrenches I had to resort to so, some uh, manual tools here and uh, actually from all the tapping look I broke the little lever there's another bolt back here I guess that's where the um, the coolant goes these are loose already the other one's loose. I'm ready uh, for the EGR coolers. So first things first, we gotta remove this fender cover. We have to remove the, um, the air filter housing. I've already pre-loosened up a lot of the bolts for the EGR coolers. I removed the back engine cover in order to do uh, the very rear at the back of the cooler there's three bolts those are really seized it is quite a job I'll probably be here for another six hours or so I'm in a little bit of a, a stuck situation right now I believe I'm supposed to take off this bracket So I've disconnected the two clamps. I've disconnect. I've um, taken off the three screws. 
at the ends of, of the uh, EGR cooler. I still have to take this off. It's, it's where the, the coolant uh, travels through. It is loose. It is loose right now. So right now I'm just gonna take this off. I'm gonna try and uh, pry it off. I, uh, hopefully I don't need to take this bracket off, but um, these clamps look like uh, they are, they do bend. So they, 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 will, uh, let, they will let the EGR cooler come up. I've removed the uh, cold side EGR cooler and uh, this was the easy side in my opinion. That side there was very difficult, especially those three bolts over there those three bolts uh, to line them up with the exhaust pipe again it's, it's it's a little hard the bracket on that side was very rusted this one doesn't look too bad but when you put in the new EGR cooler back if it's too rusted it won't fit so you're gonna have to clean this up uh, grind it out grind it out that's what I had to do in order to make it fit again Look at the cooler. There was no airflow whatsoever, if any. Possibly just a little bit of airflow was going through this cooler on the cold side. On the hot side, it wasn't as bad. Look how plugged that is. And then um, this one right here is the hot side. It looked like it wasn't as restricted. But regardless, they're both, uh, they both might have been leaking and therefore uh, just replaced the both of them. Okay, look at that. All the coolant I've caught in, um, in an oil pan so, so it doesn't uh, ruin the environment. So have a look at the difference between the old coolers and the new coolers. Look at these coolers. I don't see this ever uh, getting restricted. These are refurbished coolers. And it, they don't have the fins inside. They just have large openings and it goes right through. It looks well, um, well constructed. It looks nicely welded and I don't I don't see this thing ever uh, ever being an issue again